गुड मॉर्निंग सुबह सुबह सॉरी इतना बेस वाला वॉइस के लिए टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू शूट एन अमेजिंग पॉडकास्ट विथ आई एस पल्लव झा सर सर इट्स राइट नाउ द डी सी ऑफ गुवाहाटी इट्स अराउंड फाइव थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग ऐसा ही होता है डे लाइफ विद एन ऑफिसर वाला शूट अभी हम जा रहे हैं छः बजे से सर इज़ डूइंग सर एक्सरसाइज करना शुरू कर जाते हैं ना उनके दिन शुरू हो जाता है वैसे तो मैं बिल्कुल मॉर्निंग राइजर नहीं हूँ बट वो कहते हैं ना कि वेन यू स्टार्ट लविंग योर जॉब तुम्हें वो सब फील नहीं होता बैरियर्स वगैरह एंड आई एम रियली गोइंग थ्रू दैट सो या ऑल्सो येस्टरडे नाइट हम कल देर बजे तक विसर्जन घाट पे थे गुवाहाटी में ऑल द लॉ एंड ऑर्डर अथॉरिटीज वर देयर क्योंकि बिसाइड वेस्ट बंगाल असम में भी बहुत सारा दुर्गा पूजा होते हैं तो उसके विसर्जन उसमें सर भी थे एंड ऑल द अदर ऑफिसर्स वेर ऑल्सो देयर तो या स्लेफ्ट फॉर थ्री आवर्स बट नो इश्यूज इन्जॉइंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल जर्नी ऑफ पॉडकास्ट आई थिंक थोड़ी देर में पहुँच जाएंगे जस्ट थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग दिस जर्नी एंड लेट्स होप for the good podcast and see you the chase in the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted say humble now we go it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so i can make a better me better believe in your mind cuz it's everything you can mold shape find almost anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything कितने साल के हो गए सर अभी आई एम थर्टी एट नाउ अपने सुबह से जितने बार अभी हम लोग बात कर रहे थे फादर साहब के काफ़ी बार जिक्र किया प्रेरणा वहाँ से मिला था मेरे फादर यस ही वॉज ए हेल्थ के बड़े कॉन्शियस आदमी थे वो अच्छा और टाइम uh, के भी अच्छा ही वॉज ए प्रोफेसर इन कॉलेज एंड ही हैड लाइक Mm, lot of time in his hand, hmm. but still he always seemed the most busy guy on the earth. हमेशा ही busy रहते थे और अब physically बहुत active रखते थे अपने आप को much more than me. Like when he was 55, hmm. he used to bicycle 12 kilometers, 13 kilometers a day. So that kind of uh, freak he was, what you call in these days, hmm. freak थे fitness के. But then प्रेरणा नहीं बोलूँगा. But then yeah, slowly slowly I also considered. Uh, How it helps me is uh, दिमाग clear रखता है काफ़ी ज़्यादा सुबह करें या शाम करें जो पसीना निकलता है do it for my mind hmm. more than my body so it helps and now I realize हो सकता है पापा को देख के बट या ही वॉज एक्सट्रीमली हेल्थ कॉन्शियस गाय माई फादर कहाँ थे आपके बॉर्डर बॉर्डर देवघर करके एक शहर है बड़ा खूबसूरत शहर है झारखंड में उसमें hmm. बिहार हुआ करता था आई वॉज बॉर्न देर एंड वॉज ब्रॉट अप ऑल्सो देर स्कूलिंग वहीं करा मैंने रामकृष्ण मिशन करके है बड़ा अच्छा स्कूल है गेटिंग थ्रू इज़ वेरी टफ एग्जाम एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इज इक्वल इन टू एंट्रेंस ऑफ यू पी एस सी इन दैट स्कूल वो फिफ्थ क्लास में ही वहाँ पे प्रलेम्स और इस टाइप का इंटरव्यू ये सब होता है hmm. तो वहीं से पढ़े ट्वेल्थ वहीं पर था तो उसके बाद देन आई मूव आउट टू दिल्ली फॉर माई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड हायर स्टडीज़ छोटे शहरों के बच्चे के अलग माइंडसेट होता है अपनी अलग लड़ाई होती है कितना झेले वो सब छोटा शहर के बच्चा का तो एक तो आई थिंक एक्सपोजर कम रहता है एट द सेम टाइम विथ लेस एक्सपोजर कम्स एडेप्टेबिलिटी तो उसमें दो तरीका से हमको लगता है कुछ 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 होता है जो कुछ नया नया चीज़ जब देखना शुरू करता है and they get the cultural shock like i went from a totally boys school to st stephen's college uh-huh. so it was a totally a different setup for me ha uh-huh. uh, from a small lower middle class to delhi university no to usme wo hai you can either like get in the flow and start uh-huh. feeling the inferiority complex uh-huh. 
और यू कैन हैव ए माइंड सेट वेर यू स्टार्ट हैविंग फन विथ इट तो डिपेंड करता है बट आई थिंक बिहार झारखंड का बच्चा लोग जो है उसका माँ बाप दे इवन इफ यू दे हैव द मनी दे मेक यू स्ट्रगल सो द रूम फ्रॉम विच आई गॉट थ्रू इन द एंड जब मेरा यू पी एस सी निकला पंद्रह सौ के रूम में मैं रहता था ये वो छत के नीचे वाले में दिल्ली में दिल्ली में फिर जब बाद में धीरे धीरे रियलाइज़ करना शुरू किया कि उतना गरीब था नहीं थे नहीं मेरे फादर या मदर की मुझे पंद्रह सौ के रूम में रखते बट देन दे हैव दिस हैबिट आई हैव टू एल्डर सिस्टर्स दो बड़ी बहन है मेरी सो थोड़ा स्टडी रहता है मुझे लगता है जो आपके छोटे शहर के मिडिल क्लास के लड़के रहते हैं और प्लस दे आर ऑल्सो अंडर लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर बोझ बहुत रहता है मतलब सोसाइटी का फैमिली का क्योंकि आई थिंक एजुकेशन इज़ द ओनली वे वेयर दे कैन लाइक टू मोबलाइज अप इन द सोसाइटी और कोई दूसरा तरीका होता नहीं है ये हर बिहार के प्रॉब्लम होता है बिहार में रहने का बिहार का मिडिल क्लास जो बच्चे हैं उनका मतलब देर इज़ एन इको सिस्टम वेयर यू आर ऑलवेज लाइक यू आर पुट इन टू लॉट ऑफ लाइक इन ए कॉम्पिटिटिव सेट ऑफ थिंग्स पीपल आर नेवर सेटिस्फाइड आई थिंक नीड फॉर अचीवमेंट इज़ वेरी हाई फॉर पीपल फ्राम बिहार एंड It's like always there is uh, kind of if you say that I'm going to study for this competition, hmm. then parents they support. Ah. If you won't tell them कि नहीं पढ़ना नहीं कुछ और करना है, then they will start uh, asking you questions कि क्या कर रहे हो क्या नहीं. So there was a time when I thought, what should I tell my parents that so that I can stay back in Delhi. Okay. So I told them कि यू पेसी का तैयारी करना है. जब वो intention नहीं था. Intention मतलब I was always flipping between what to do, what not to do. But then I thought कि let me give it try and. Uh, That had the only reason I could give them to stay back in Delhi. I wanted to stay in Delhi. Uh-huh. My father said, "Ki tum aajao ghar aajao ghar mein hi padho. Uh-huh. Ghar mein hi karo jo karna hai." To hum bolay ki aisa ra IAS ka taiyari karna hai papa. Uh-huh. Bolay chalo, thik hai kar lo. Then <laughs> I got a chance to uh-huh. overstay my uh-huh. Delhi because I had graduated in 2007 and I got through in 2011-12. Uh-huh. So for four years, uh, five years, I was there. Doing absolutely nothing, uh-huh. you can say. Unemployed. Unemployed. Yeah, I'm unemployed. This is my first job. Okay. Uh-huh. I, I have <laughs> never worked before, so मुझे ना corporate का उतना पता है ना private sector देखा है. Tuition tuition पढ़ाते थे वहाँ पे pocket money के लिए Delhi University के time पे बच्चों को आसपास के बच्चों को. But uh, yeah, I needed a reason to stay back, so I said. And then when I started preparing, like I started enjoying. वो मज़ा आने लगा क्योंकि पढ़ने का तो कुछ तो था ही दिमाग में बचपन से ही लाइक ऑलवेज वॉज वेरी 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 क्यूरियस काइंड ऑफ चाइल्ड एंड दैट्स हाउ आई ग्रू अप तो दैट वॉज अ रीज़न लाइक हाँ बिहार में रहता है इसीलिए निकालते भी है एक रीज़न सर ये हम देखना चाहते हैं आप उस टाइम पे कह रहे थे मैं आके ये ये यहाँ पे मेरा नज़र गया था एम्बेसडर हाँ दिस इज़ अ वेरी आई यूज टू यूज इट टिल लास्ट ईयर अच्छा बट देन हमको लगता है कि मेरा ड्राइवर लोग को इनोवा चलाना ज़्यादा पसंद है इसीलिए लोग बोलते हैं थॉमस दा ये तो ठीक ना होने की सर सर दोस्तों पाया अच्छा कंफर्टेबल कार इसमें मैं लास्ट ईयर तक घूमता था बीच बीच में निकालता था इसमें लगता है सोफा पे बैठ के घूम रहे हैं हाँ। शहर में so, अच्छा आप इसमें चढ़े हो हाँ 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 मैं घूमा हूँ लास्ट ईयर आई यूज टू वी यूज टू टेक ट्रिप्स ऑन दिस मज़ा आता था लेकिन इस साल बोल रहा है कि ठीक नहीं होगा ट्राई करवाते हैं इसमें भी दिस विंटर्स आई ट्राई टू फिक्स इट अपट हैज़ टू बी कैरीड ऑल दैट इज द मेन प्रॉब्लम अभी उस बात पर वापस चलते हैं जैसे आपने जिक्र किया अभी फ्राम अ स्मॉल टाउन गाय टू सेंट स्टीफन so the world for the first time you know the glamour of the world from a boy school to the quiet medium and things kaisa raha safar it was very interesting because uh, uh, my school was uh, totally boys in the nature that mm-hmm. there were no like female employees also oh so we had no uh, interaction with any kind of females so uh, it was interesting in a way Hmm. It helped shaping up your, and, and it was also a very spiritual kind of school. It was Ram Krishna Mission. Hmm. So Stephen's was fun. I uh, I feel I was lucky that uh, uh, 
फीमेल्स आई इंटरेक्टेड विथ दे अलाउड मी टू लाइक डेवलप माई सेल्फ इन ए स्लो एंड लाइक इन ए मैनर आई वॉन्टेड टू so slowly slowly after 6 months 7 months mm-hmm. i understood like and it was fun but initially so, wo problem nahi hota kyunki wo ek to aap adolescence mein ho mm-hmm. aapko khud ki zindagi mein aage jana hai theek hai upar se jab itna kuch chalta hai na to aadmi kahin na kahin bhagta hai bhagne ka issues matlab mere sath bahut zyada nahi raha hai always somehow i feel uh, माइंड इज समथिंग सब कुछ लूज कर भी गए तो माइंड लूज नहीं कर सकते हैं सो आई कीप कंट्रोल ऑफ माई माइंड सक्सेसफुल सक्सेसफुल वॉट वाइड टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई डोंट नो आई डोंट डिफाइन सक्सेस इन ऑल इन पैरामीटर्स एज सच या फाइन करियर वाइज इट्स ए वेरी शॉर्ट आफ्टर जॉब विच आई गॉट थ्रू so you can call it successful but uh, i don't know uh, success achievements goals aims these are things which i like to redefine all the time okay so i always like every 3 years 4 years i get into a phase where i start redefining it what to do next what you are redefining now defining now i'm trying to like uh, shift myself to I'm trying to explore myself in certain new areas hmm number 1 is uh, physicality ha huh. because uh, mind is something which is always engaged hmm. so thoda sa physical part mein dhyan de raha hu acha want to explore that how much i can learn or how much i can like hmm. do good with my body live a more healthy life ha huh. lifestyle changes number 2 i'm exploring more and more time with myself okay like me time I'm, I'm me time so i am in basically i'm an extremely social guy okay my father was an extremely social guy but then slowly slowly like um, social in introvert or social or extrovert uh either i am i think uh, it depends if you ask my mother as a child i was introvert acha but then once i went to school uh, i started acting in extrovert uh-huh. so uh, you can say that i have lot of like shift of that uh-huh. uh, i won't say mood uh-huh. but then it depends if i like i can open up with anyone uh-huh. if my uh, the day is good in some days i am like totally silent with myself uh-huh. so it depends but then yeah i have set of very very close people uh-huh. uh, with them it's like uh, especially school friends अच्छा अभी भी हो कनेक्ट बोर्डिंग वाले लड़के हैं सारे तो वी हैव ए व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप दे आर लाइक दे आर द फैमिली सो सिंस वी मूव टू बोर्डिंग वेरी एट वेरी यंग एज एंड व्हेन यू आर इन बोर्डिंग बॉयज बोर्डिंग इट्स लाइक ए जंगल इट्स लाइक ए जंगल इन द सेंस कि ऑल काइंड ऑफ एज ग्रुप्स आर देयर ऑल आर बॉयज सो सम काइंड ऑफ पावर प्ले इज ऑलवेज देयर सीनियर जूनियर पढ़ने का कॉम्पिटिशन फिर धीरे धीरे जब आप बड़े होते हैं तो दिखने का कंपटीशन की हु इज लुकिंग हाउ एंड दिस दैट तो उस कंपटीशन में जो है देर लाइक लॉट ऑफ एंगल्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व तो दे आर लाइक फैमिली द स्कूल फ्रेंड्स सो वी आर मोस्ट ओपन विद दैट व्हेन वी मीट देम सो बट देन मीटिंग इज वेरी रेयर एंड ऑल आर थैंकफुली ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सब अच्छा कर रहे हैं तो उनके साथ ओपन हूँ आई हैव मेड वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स इन कॉलेज आई मेड वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स इन मसूरी आई मेड सम वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स इन सर्विस सो आई एम क्वाइट ए सोशल गाय बट देन राइट नाउ आई एम एंटर्ड ए फेज एंड आई एम एंटर्ड माई सेल्फ वेर आई हैव लिमिटेड माई सेल्फ टू इंटरेक्शंस एंड मीटिंग टू मैनी पीपल वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड रीजन इज सम पीपल टर्म इट एज मिड लाइफ क्राइसिस सो दैट बिकम्स ए वेरी लाइक ईजी वर्ड टू पुट थिंग्स इन परस्पेक्टिव बट देन इट्स नॉट मिड लाइफ क्राइसिस एक्चुअली बट इज वॉन्ट टू लाइक थिंक मोर अबाउट थिंग्स आई सी लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स होल्ड ए द काइंड ऑफ रूटीन आई हैव द काइंड ऑफ इंटरेक्शन आई हैव एंड द काइंड ऑफ इंटरेक्शन आई हैड इन माई सर्विस स्पेशली इन लास्ट एट नाइन ईयर्स यू मीट ऑल काइंड ऑफ पीपल Uh, we go through all kind of situations and we go through one of the most like both human and inhuman situations mm. and we have to always like act without getting very emotional 
about things. If you get very emotional, you won't be able to take decisions. So, उसमें जो है फिर बहुत सारा thought मतलब it get there's a lot of congestion inside then. Like when I joined in 2014, बिल्कुल ही स्टीफेंस से निकल के I S निकाला हुआ लड़का दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी का आया था. I was playing badminton in the evening. I got a phone call. And in one hour, I saw there was a insurgency incident where 30 people were killed in one go. And and in the back, this was in Assam in my first posting. And in the backlash, there were like 9,000 people who had run to relief camps. 300 households were burnt. So that was like my first interaction with violence. First interaction with Assam. I was in Bishnath then. So there was an insurgent group which attacked and did the genocide. So things like that they form. But then you can't like. You start crying, you can't start like shouting, you have to be cool if you want to handle that situation, those kind of situation. So those things I think they put you under congestion. There's some always congestion inside and I think uh, I have moved cities, I have moved places. So there have been situations, lot of situations, uh, law and order ho ya uh, other kind of incidents ho. So everything we just keep watching and looking at. So things you watch, things you go through. I'm in a phase where I'm thinking about those congestions and I'm trying to think them and trying to write something about them. I'm trying to like process them. Uh, I'm in a phase where I'm trying to understand the whole nature of things. We are standing in front of the river, River Bhumraputra. I think yours profession or something or your, your, the character you are playing, if you say, as a DC, it's like a boatman. The water is taking you somewhere, you need to reach somewhere. There are so many people sitting on the boat, you know what's going to happen, what's not going to happen, but you need to take the boat. Is it something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. River, river again uh, has played very important uh, part in my like career life because since my first posting I have been almost by the river and there was also a posting in the middle of the river a place called Majuli okay. so Majuli was turned into a district and I was the first DC it's there. an island right? it's an island uh -huh. so those are wahan pe raha. so Majuli was one of the most like quietest place uh -huh. I have been and at that time it was more remote and isolated okay. so river has played an important role and uh, river what I feel is uh, uh, shows the only i think i believe in one thing slowly slowly i am a very like straight jacketed man i don't like i don't used to like the changes much bahut yeah. zyada change mujhe pasand nahi tha but slowly 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 i have realized that change is the only thing which is like a constant but in your service change is the constant because you get transferred from one yeah, tra i am talking about a larger picture okay. like okay. transfer posting ah. job ah. log family dost ah. wo ek that's what we live. Uh, but then when you go deeper in that, uh, that I think change is something which is always happening. Uh, river se zada jo hai, matlab, it's, it's like this water is gone. Uh, this is gone. What you see in front of you, it's never there, it's, it's it has gone ahead. Ja chuka hai. River jo hai, one plus it, uh, I had like a lot of like floods, drowning incidents. Uh, well, a lot of like interesting incidents which has happened across the river and with river. So what I feel is what you see in the river always. Abhi to thoda sab mausam shant ho. It will look very beautiful, slow and calm. Yeah. River is very turbulent inside all the time. What I understood. Abhi main kuch din aapko follow kar raha tha. You know, in, in your social media platforms. Your personally, jab last two days se main aapko mila hu. You are an artistic personality. Yeah, either rather a creative personality. But when we talk about bureaucracy, there's emotion doesn't work. You have to be steep in decision makings. Kahin na kahin juj rahe ho dono ke beech mein. Bureaucracy, emotions doesn't work. I won't say. Uh, you will. I feel the kind of situations we go through and kind of things we see. Uh, emotion. I like very mixed emotions. Emotions again. I won't like. Uh, like to define it as happy, sad, good, bad. Uh, things are always. I'm trying to like find a space 
in the emotions which allow me to accept i think acceptance acceptance of change acceptance of happenings acceptance of uh, good bad what how, how how we define it uh, that is that is that is that is very uh, important so bureaucracy is i won't say it's emotionless mm. but then what i was trying to make a point was like you can't let your primary emotions take control of you aapko pata hai something bad has happened you see a guy comes with to you bolega ki aisa aisa ho gaya aapko bhi kharab lagega but then you have to understand that situation kya tha situation janna zaruri hai usme aap situation janne ke liye somebody comes and cries and you can't just react and take a decision आपको दो मिनट के लिए उसको न्यूट्रली देखना पड़ेगा कि ठीक है यू आर क्राइंग फाइन मतलब विदाउट टेलिंग हिम दैट फाइन आई एम नॉट एज सैड एज यू आर एज यू आर एंड दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इम्पैथी इज समथिंग विच आई फील इज इम्पॉसिबल बट एट द सेम टाइम इम्पैथी इज समथिंग विच वन शुड ऑलवेज ट्राइव फॉर वेदर इन ब्यूरोक्रेसी वेदर इन लाइफ सामने वाले के साथ क्या चल रहा है वो समझना बिकॉज आई बिलीव in certain goodness in nature of man it ki bilkul bhi kharab koi nahi hota hai there has to be a reason yeah true to situation ko thoda dekhna important hai so ha wo conflict rehta hai hmm jo aap bole ki to wo conflict rehta hai but that conflict is getting slowly slowly resolved by not putting emotions into certain like brackets of how we generally try to put it hmm. Hmm. khush ho gaya dukh ho gaya uh, acha hai bura hai hmm. thoda sa you will matlab ek layer niche jaane se bureaucracy mein bhi i think it helps acha it helps to try to see everything as a story kaise jaate ho fir niche ek level dekhte hain i try to observe Like I'll, I'll try to watch it as a maybe you can call a scene of a cinema. उसमें ये नहीं लगता नजरिया भी चाहिए देखने के लिए तभी तो आप देख पाओगे हर कोई वैसे नहीं देख रहा है जैसे आप सोच रहे हो नहीं हम आई एम नॉट सींग दैट आई एम सींग इट राइट आई वॉन्ट अदर्स ऑल्टो टू सी आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग एज अबाउट माई पर्सनल ओपिनियन वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज इफ यू डोंट सी समथिंग न्यूट्रली आई थिंक decision making will be difficult mm. decision making will be difficult and uh, you will have to see from like various angles kisi cheez ko matlab when we started my job reactions hota tha gussa bhi bahut aata tha mare ware bhi hain logo ko to uh, you're okay to say this in front of the camera <laughs> in mare in the sense ki <laughs> like yeah like if there was a misbehavior to like ah. control things ah. or someone but you was have to be strict na log aajkal isko accept nahi karte but uh, yeah, things have, have changed things have changed when i joined luckily at that point ah. there was social media and everything was on a low hmm. even facebook was like limited hmm. now it's very difficult like with so much of camera around i'm not just saying for anger it's like Uh, generally you have to be uh, out when you are out in the field hmm. you are always being watched aapko dekhte rehta hai sab pehle kam hota tha pehle kam nahi hota tha but pehle phailta nahi tha abhi ki tarah acha pehle jo hai iska Haan. chances uh, uh, kam tha is cheez ka mm. misinformation ka chances kam tha ha pehle बहुत पहले नहीं बट या एट नाइन ईयर्स बैक बट देन विथ फेसबुक गेटिंग स्ट्रॉगर एंड स्मार्टफोन्स बिकमिंग चीपर आई थिंक स्लाइटली इट चेंज द डायनेमिक्स बट देन एट द सेम टाइम इट हैज़ पॉजिटिव ऑल्सो इट हैज मेड द होल सिस्टम मोर अकाउंटेबल ऑल्सो वी आर मोर केयरफुल वेन वी आर लाइक वर्किंग ऑन द फीडबैक ऑफ द पीपल एंड सैम गवर्नमेंट इज वेरी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट सिटीजन फीडबैक सोशल मीडिया फीडबैक्स so uh, we always we have a very active social media pages mm. all across mm. uh, uh, all level of the government so it's like it's a it's a good thing that accountability and uh, feedback is happening and we are giving but at the same time there's a flip side to it mm, which you get to see ab aap ye simply dekho na whenever there is a riot or whenever mm. there is a big law and order situation the first thing that's done is like to block the internet yeah 
so of course the blocking internet plays a very crucial role in like saving from the i think he, aaj se 5 saal pehle bhi koi sochta nahi tha system pe ki ye bhi karna padega this is also part of law and order also you can say right now yeah matlab uh, it i think the kind of information hmm. and the kind of ease it has become hmm. of spreading information and connecting to people hmm. it, it has like it's like uh, increasing every day har din jo hai wo badh raha hai it's becoming more and more easier hmm. like how we met hmm. you dropped a message and we are here talking hmm. so it has become very easy to connect and that was something unimaginable मुझे लगता है दस पंद्रह साल पहले तक अप्रोचेबल नहीं होता था इतना नहीं स्कूल फ्रेंड्स आई एम टेलिंग यू व्हेन वी गिव द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स इन आवर स्कूल सिंस वी आर बोर्डिंग वी वर लाइक वेरी इमोशनल वी क्राइड एज इफ वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू सी इच अदर एवर नाउ द सोशल मीडिया एंड एवरी थिंग हैज बिकम लाइक लाइक वेन यू मेट मी वेन आई मेट यू वी मेट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बट लगा जैसे देखे हुए हैं so you recognized crowd may you came and said hi to me i said hi to you you recognized me so uh, things are changing and things are changing very fast aur uh, gussa pe the hum log so pehle gussa aata tha ab uh, anger is something which i have uh, controlled a lot so anger one once again is a very like uh, primary emotion which and it's 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 not something should be controlled hmm. i'm not saying that don't get angry uh. getting angry is again very important if you don't get angry you lose the most basic uh. nature of But just uh, controlling you man yeah controlling it channelizing it hmm. i think anger is very important to like uh, channelize that energy in a hmm. more positive way एंगर का जरूरत बहुत ज्यादा है बट देन डोंट यूज इट स्पेशली इन आवर काइंड ऑफ जॉब वेयर यू आर डीम टू बी पावरफुल यू एक्चुअली ऑल्सो हैव द आई कॉल इट पावर टू कॉल शॉर्ट्स वेन यू गेट इन दैट पोजिशन आई थिंक यू शुड गेट मोर एंड मोर हम्बल इंस्टेड ऑफ बींग मोर एंड मोर एंग्री सो वेन यू आर एंगर्ड वेन यू गेट एंग्री यू शुड चैनलाइज इट शुड गो मोर काम सो दोज आर द थिंग्स एक्चुअली विच आई एम वर्किंग ऑन राइट नाउ जब तुम बोले कि नीचे में कि अभी क्या चल रहा है आपके साथ क्या चल रहा है तो वो वही वही सब चीज़ बेसिकली चल रहा है हाँ। कि एक सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ अचीवमेंट जब हो जाता है आपको लगने लगता है कि करियर वाइज या गोल्स वाइज कि ये हो गया देन वन शुड स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन देम सेल्स लाइक बहुत लोगों को ये लगता है आपको देखे कि यू हैव अचीव एवरी इन लाइफ क्रैक्ट यू पी एस सी हैविंग यू नो यू नो इन इन साम यू नो डी सी ऑफ गुवाहाटी बट आपके बात करके मुझे ये लग रहा है आपके गोल अभी तक खत्म ही नहीं हुआ यू आर अचीविंग या यू माइट बी योर टारगेट इज समथिंग या तो योर कैरेक्टर इज समथिंग वॉट इज इट आई थिंक आई एम एक्सट्रीमली कन्फ्यूज गाय आई डोंट नो वट आई वॉन्ट टू अचीव एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू नो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू लाइक इट हेल्प मी ग्रोइंग अप helps me uh, looking for something new
Do you smoke? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> started quite young. Uh, in class 12th, I started. किसी ने पकड़ा दिया था. पकड़ा दिया था मतलब. There are two things. My family ecosystem was such that it was never like a strict no no. Father, my mother, uncles. So nicotine was something which was acceptable. अब ये डर नहीं लगता कि बहुत सारे लोग आपको देखते हैं when you are saying yeah I do क्या impression पड़ेगा बच्चों में? नहीं it's bad. I'm not saying it's it's bad. It should not be this because it starts affecting your health. Stamina and uh, it doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth. So it's bad. I'm trying to quit and eventually I'll quit. Oh. But then, yeah, you ask me the question, so like I don't want to lie in front of because I committed, I don't give interviews. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that, 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 that's I have seen. You have not given. But why did you agree for doing this podcast? I agreed because uh, you oh, approached very nicely. I went to your profile. I saw some of my very close friends there. Ah. So I thought, ki, let's do it. Ah. So um, your profile was interesting. I saw some of the interviews. Hmm. Suna bhi tha maine. Kabi kabi kuch bhi logon ne bheja bhi tha. So Achha, kisi ne bheja tha? Some oh, of my very promotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nahi, I've, I've seen the videos. Ah. So some of my close friends have given your. Profile interviews to you. Uh-huh. So I just thought I'll also like try and talk to you. कुछ ऐसा लगा कि he is doing bad or he should change about my interviews and. No, you are you are doing. I have been interacting with you since yesterday, so uh, you are also in a I think exploratory phase of your life. Uh-huh. You are trying to explore a area where you want to experiment with a certain kind of field. And uh, getting more and more clearer about what you want to do. So if you come and tell me that I know what I want to do, uh, I will like uh, get very, very, very impressed because I really doubt people know that what they want to do. Uh-huh. And uh, you're lucky, but then the kind of field you have chosen, these uh, professional fields are difficult to choose. Kids from Bihar are not allowed to choose all these fields. Not from my family also, because <laughs> I also come from the middle class background. Yeah, so uh, still you must have like fought it out. Yeah, you know, and like when I met so many officers, many people in the family talks about you should meet them, you should get a job, this and that. I never asked for help for anyone. By God's grace, I hope things go well. But uh, I want to do something different, and my main motto is not to putting an agenda, but the real story if we can show. How you all are going through? This something nobody talks about. Everybody talks about you know what DC sir, what you are doing. DC sir, what you are doing. But for that, the media is na. Yeah. Plus, uh, our job, I think, especially the posting of DC is very, very personality driven. Hmm. All the places when you go, when you talk, the institution hmm. itself is hmm. something which is very old, okay. much older than any like I think the political system also of the country. Hmm. The institution of deputy commissioner, I'm talking about a district magistrate. What they say, so the institution carries a lot of weight in minds of people. It has a legacy, oh. and it has uh, should be taken very very seriously. I think. So I have done like all small, big, important, unimportant, busy, not busy kind of districts, oh. and I have reached Guwahati finally. So I take my position very seriously. Feel responsible on the streets. But not I am saying that everything I can like. I don't have that much power, or that the system doesn't work in the oh. manner where you see something, you get down from your car and you fix it. That shows in the movies. It doesn't happen like that. But then you should feel responsible. That's what I feel. Like you start having a sense of ownership with the city you are in. Uh-huh. Like Guwahati, when I'm moving, when I see a uh, pothole somewhere, I get disturbed. Like why is the pothole there? If I see a garbage dump somewhere, I get disturbed. That why it is there. And I, of course, I inform also. We have also like good uh-huh. WhatsApp groups of all level. We inform also. Okay, there's a pothole there. There is uh-huh. a traffic jam in this stretch. Why are things not moving? Uh-huh. Immediately solutions don't come. The system is like it's itself a very hmm. uh, uh, complex system, and then there are a lot of things 
but then when you are in a chair of deputy commissioner i think we should start taking the ownership of it मैंने बहुत सारे आपके सबॉर्डिनेट से बात किया है मैनी ए सी एस ऑफिसर्स एंड ऑल्सो मैनी अदर ऑफिसर्स एवरीबडी सेड वन थिंग सर जैसा आदमी नहीं है बहुत चिल आउट है अब कुछ लोगों के लिए चिल आउट टर्म अलग है बट हमारे जनरेशन के लिए वी ऑलवेज वॉन्ट पीपल लाइक यू जो थोड़ा चिल आउट है हमारे जैसे है ना <laughs> इतना कुछ के बीच में कैसे रहते हो चिल आउट इतना कुछ के बीच में रह लेते हैं क्योंकि दिमाग चिल आउट रहता है आई पुट इट इन अदर मैनर यू वॉन्ट सी मी आई मेड सो मेनी थिंग्स इफ आई वॉज नॉट चिल्ड इन माई माइंड एंड दैट इज वॉट आई आई वॉन्ट टू लर्न लाइक कल भी मैंने देखा था दैट इज यू नो विशर्ट जन इट्स नॉट एन ईजी जॉब इतना कुछ हो रहा है यू आर कंटिन्यूसली इन फोन यू आर चेकिंग आउट द थिंग्स बट कहीं ना कहीं वो होता है ना आदमी के फेस में एक स्ट्रेस डाउट लगता है वो एक पागल पहन होता है वो नहीं देखा मैंने आई थिंक those phases i have crossed in my career okay. i have seen worst and worst of things yeah. i have dealt with worst and worst of situation so uh, human wise what is is easy mm-hmm. because people here i feel uh, are themselves very busy but is it not a pressure pressure posting it's a extremely pressure posting in terms of time and yeah. uh, my schedule and routine and all yeah. and also it's a very like cold hearted posting it's mm-hmm. not as like warm as uh, other places or other smaller districts where i was cold hearted can if you can brief in the sense ki it's people are professional okay. they come with you with work and if you can't help them you just say them that this is not possible and you ask them to go you don't like spend time with them trying to heal them uh-huh. that your work with not done because that part is like okay here yeah, that's uh-huh. taken okay other districts even if you can't do the work you have to like try to like soothe them heal them uh-huh. tell them things try to tell them guwahati you can be like straight faced and you can because you all everyone is short of time oh. and the people who come to meet you are short of time metropolitan and culture. yeah metropolitan culture it's an urban city so uh, i have seen those phases that's why i feel slowly slowly i have achieved that calm i have seen like worst of violence i have seen worst of disasters i have seen like uh, elections lot of them politics i have seen very closely Uh, agitations i have seen very closely so i think experience helps in helping you calm down one factor but then i think uh, when i had joined also i, I used to keep calm so uh, one thing what i believe in if something happens as a disaster ho gaya the first thing which my mind which comes is ki ab to ho gaya ha ab to ha kaise ho gaya kya ho gaya wo sab cheez baad mein hoga once this is resolved so that's how my mind works like ab ho gaya ab isko sambhalna hai jab sambhal lenge uske baad dekha jayega ki kyun hua kya hua gussa na kis pe hai suspend kisko karna hai inquiry kya karna hai kya usko karna hai that is like for later first finish this and bring it back to normal you're more like solution oriented person i don't know i don't like want to put myself in those jargons because na hum mba kiye hain na hum zyada ye sab theory padhe hain itna grounded kaise rehte ho main kal se dekh raha hu ab kya hai ye aap aap define kijiye how you put it but then like i'm just telling you how my like mind works you said about politicians okay uh, after like it's been 2 years i'm doing the podcast i have seen the bureaucracy life closely not so much experience like you all but we have understood jaise hamare pehle ek layman concept hota tha na politicians anpar hote inko to kuch nahi pata with time i have realized they are not like that they at least know the ground reality logo ko kya sunna chahiye kya batana hai aur kya karna hai what is in reality i respect politicians for what they are why because uh, just like artists mm. just like sound engineers just like people who are making podcast yeah. politics i think is an extremely challenging and difficult career mm. and you choose politics as a career uh, i mm. for me i think it's most difficult career in fact to being a politician okay being a politician i mean successful politician huh. Huh. not like like so if you are ambitious and if you have joined politics to hmm. grow up hmm. i think that's a very very challenging thing and it needs leadership and hmm. human resource management of a different level altogether because what i think is uh, what my perception of politicians is um, career wise and position wise 
इज लॉट ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी अबाउट द करियर ग्रोथ जो शायद आप लोगों के सर्विस में नहीं ऑफ कोर्स नहीं है वी हैव क्लियर एग्जाम वी आर इन ए गवर्नमेंट सर्विस वेयर वी नो दैट व्हाट इज द प्रमोशन एंड व्हाट इज द थिंग इफ यू लाइक डोंट पुट टू मच एफर्ट आल्सो इफ यू डू योर वर्क कूली यू विल गेट रिटायरमेंट यू हैव योर बेनिफिट्स यू गेट सैलरी यू गेट अदर पर्क्स एंड एवरीथिंग सो पॉलिटिशियंस आई फाइंड देम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नंबर वन ऑलवेज लाइक वॉचिंग दैम क्लोजली and at the same time uh, i a politician who is humble and the same time very hard working i have lot of respect for them because i think they have chosen a very challenging uh, career uh, so i never had like big issues with politicians ever uh, because somehow uh, they also never disturbed me i don't know why or anything and when i i am one thing also i learned very well in this service is saying no so and no is something ye aapse nahi hai naraz nahi hai naraz aur unne kya aadat hai logon ki unko pata hota hai ki ye cheez isko bolenge to na bolega to na sunne ki aadat nahi hoti hai na sunna acha nahi lagta hai logon ko agar pata hota hai ki isko ye bolenge to na hi bolega to bolte hi nahi hai so that impression somehow i have created and at the same time i am respectful to them yeah. especially politicians who are old and elders i am respectful to them for what they have chosen and it's not easy humko to lagta hai class ka monitor banna bhi bahut kathin hai so even a gaon panchayat election someone is winning it needs like lot of human resource and lot of capacity and capability it's not easy so uh, getting into conflict with them getting into mera bhi hua hai when i had like yeah. but it uh, never there is a way like i can't tell you on camera how to handle them but then there are certain ways in my head that uh, i handle them and plus i respect them for what they are mm-hmm. and uh, it's 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 not like a conflict i never see it as a conflict that there is a certain thing he has his own job i have my own job mm-hmm. it's like two different things so somehow i have been able to like convince politicians whenever i have interacted that this is your this is mine and they have been like okay with me never had like big issues with any of the politicians ever